What's good everyone, welcome back to episode number 5 of our Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon Let's Play. If you guys are hyped for the series, make sure you smash the hell like button down below for me. Your support is greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's get started. I think in the last episode we were abandoning Gumi. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure that's what we did. More on Will. I'm gonna go ahead and on school today. I won't want to irritate you by insisting we always go together. So see you later. Oh wait, what am I doing that for? So see you later, Will. I was like, that's Nuzleaf's voice. Seems like Alex is still hung up on what we were talking about yesterday. I guess. I guess I'll just make my own way to school then. It's not too far. It's like, what, 30 feet away? Let's count the steps, actually. Ooh, that volume's loud. It's a one, two. Okay, maybe not. I'm not doing that. That's going to take way too. Okay, actually, hold up. How do I get to school? Do I go over the bridge? Ooh, it's a lombre. Ooh, we can push people? How far can we push him? Not that far. Okay. I was gonna say, how actually do we get to school? What do you have? Um, I, I will be late to class whenever I want. All right, um, a progress device? Oh, we only have $194, oh my God. We are broke, put it simply. I think I might be a little late. Bam, bam. Oh, is that Alex? Did you hear that, Shelmet? The one seriously wants to join the Expedition Society right now. I know, it's too funny. They don't let kids in exp Expedition Society, duh. Don't you know that? I know, but maybe I can do it if I try. That's what I believe. Maybe. You can. You believe. Are you kidding me? Dude, Tepig is on... Alex is on his grind right now. So they shouldn't discourage him like this. I I'm disappointed in Pokemon right now. What so? Come on, everyone knows it'd be impossible for a kid. And even if it weren't, there's no way you could get in. You're not even that good at exploring dungeons, are you? Better than you, dude. Just look at the stunt you pulled yesterday. I mean, maybe someone like Esper, she's at least got some real skills. But you? Dude, Esper didn't even go yesterday. Esper stayed back and used her telepathy. Ding dong dong ding ding dong dong. Okay, whatever. Who decides the order of the dings is what I want to know. All right, class. All right, <laughs> all right, class is now in session. Everyone to your seats. Oh, look how sad Alex is. Alex, what is it? Did you not hear me say? It doesn't matter what they say, I can do it. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do it. I won't ever give up. I'm gonna achieve my dreams and become the next Hokage. To be honest, Ted Pig is Naruto. You have noticed that class has begun, huh? Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha. What is this? Are you alright, child? You're beginning to worry me. And it's not the first time. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Farfetch'd. I like I've just got some things on my mind. Dude, he should just dip right then and there. Yeah. I can't let myself down. I won't lose heart. Ugh, silly Alex never knows when to give up. Well, I suppose it's alright then. Already? Yeah, okay. Well, you know, the saves between this game, really weird. What is their period, by the way? Like, what are the periods, like, item usage, battling strategy? Okay, another dungeon outing. I, your illustrious Vice Principal Watchdog, will be leading this special class. Be sure you obey my every direction without fail, especially you three. Huh, me? That's right, you, Alex. Once a troublemaker, always a troublemaker. That's what I say. So no trouble out of you today, you got that? That's an uh, oxymoron because if I'm always a troublemaker and I'm never not gonna be a troublemaker and you expect me to not troublemake today, um, then you're in for a rude awakening, my dude. The team members will be Esper, Dealing, and Will. Let's do our best together, Esper and Will. Just what I was thinking. Oh, that's not me. And the next team, drum roll if you will. Vice Principal Watchhog, excellent team. In this team, we have Pancham, Gumi, and Alex. Shumit will sit out and say his explanation and simply observe. As usual, I'll be taking custody of- Okay, yeah, we get this. We get this, my dude. Esper, can you do it? No problem. Oh, okay, well, they're gonna fight. Uh, Tepic looks angry. <laughs> Why does this class always wear me out so much quicker than any others? So there's other classes here, can we see those please? Like, come on, please. The topic of today's class, in brief, 
Looplets and Yamuras. I uh, wish still in tutorial mode, aren't we? Looplets, by the way, are pretty much like Mega Stones. Well, you can Mega Evolve. First Looplets, why don't you all open an item box to hand it out? Okay. I think we need to hold... Yeah, we need to be holding the Looplet things. So everyone in your team should take one when you go into a dungeon. What about these dents on the side? My young Shelmet, those notches as you will be made to hold Emuras. Exactly. Emuras are very mysterious items that you can find scattered throughout dungeons. Find Emuras. Emuras? I think that's what they're called. And fit in your looplet and then quick bang boom. And when you do, you will find yourself reaping the mysterious benefits. Pretty much like Pokemon steroids. Alright, can we please go into the dungeon now? Oh yeah, we'd like to see some. But you can't take them out of dungeons. Emeras disappear if you try to carry them outside of a dungeon, so you could never bring any into a regular place like this. So what constitutes a dungeon? Like, what, um, what, uh, what is going on? <laughs> Hold up, I'm like, <laughs> I'm so confused. I was like, I had a thought, and then that happened, and now it's gone. <laughs> Oh yeah, what constitutes a dungeon? Like, cause, I, I don't know. I get lost at the store sometimes. And I know when I go to the mall, I get lost. Is that a dungeon? Are the rose dungeons for us? What do you think in here? Isn't, oh. Okay, he's not, I was gonna say, it's not a psychic ability or anything like that. Uh, Alex, seriously, how dim can you be? Man, I feel sorry for old Watchhog. Couldn't you just play it along? Uh, I can't now, I'm sorry. Alright, can we please go? Poor Watchhog. Can we just can we just get in this dungeon, please? Mr. Watchhog, sir. That's enough out of you. Alright, we're off. Do, 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 do. Yes, let's go to the Glittering Mountain, please. The party can use looplets. Press B to open the menu and select items and then select the Pokemon that have a looplet. Alright. So, we need to give... Carries a looplet. Give to Esper. And then give... So now our Murrows will start spawning in dungeons. Okay, here they are. Um, holding and move R to move that diagonally. Okay. I'm gonna give that to here. But if you make good use of it, R, you may... Okay, so... Yeah, okay, so you have a certain amount of walk... So what it is, is that you've got, like, certain amount of steps to get to the Amura, and if you don't claim it, see like, okay, watch, that one's at one, and then it shatters when you step. Uh, but you can get the dust, and you can create another one, um, just uh, from the dust. So just, you gotta get there before, so, okay, so that one's got six. Okay, so this is guard boost. Okay. Okay, and that's a Scraggy. Can we use Water Gun from here? Oh, we failed. Okay, the Amura broke. That was a huge one. And this is how you Mega Evolve in the dungeons. Okay, look, we got look at this team set up here. Look at that damage. Ain't nothing. Eat this Ice Bang, brother. I'm gonna fuck up this Macho too, or Ma Machop. This Metal Claw, bro. Damn, Psybeam. Oh my god, Esper's too strong. What level is Esper actually? Hold up, can we look? Can we, can we check the team? Okay, status. 17? Fuck, man. Scratch can be using Covet Psybeam. Yeah, I think those things are stab. I don't know though, because Deerling's just got Sand Attack on there. Okay, there's the stairs. We haven't got off the first stair yet, oh my god. Second floor of Glittering Mountain. Okay, um, progress device. We don't have one, though. Alright. 
So we're all ooplinted up. He just ice pack, brother. Low kick, he does metal claw. How far away is Cybeam go? Because Cybeam, like, just, like, destroyed him from, like, okay. Oh, and, okay, so four, three, two, okay. Come back. I'm gonna give it to Esper. And these things literally, like, save you. Um, when I was playing through the first time, these things, like, on the final boss, saved my life. Because they've got, like, um, ooh, a dino. A dino. I'm gonna ice beam this boy. Or not ice beam. Uh, ice beam. Can we get ice punch? Also, damage was nullified. Dope. Can you please kill? Thank you. Alright, what does this mirror do? Power boost Y. Give this to Esper. So, but, okay, but well, I, don't, I forgot how... I'm pretty sure Mega Evolving in this game kind of stupid. Who is that? Is that Meta Type? Okay, I was gonna say, this Meta Type. Um, because I'm pretty sure after you Mega Evolve, it's like... You get, you get like, confused or something like that. It's kind of stupid. If you ask me. Dope. I'm only finding these to level up because we are so low level. Comparatively. We're seven levels behind Esper. Seven levels behind Esper. And three levels behind Deerling now. Which is dumb. That's what I'm saying, like, once we are able to adventure, we get like level 50s off the bat. And it's kind of, it's kind of ridiculous, but I also don't like the way, um... I really don't like the way that teammates in this game work. Holy shit, that was crit. Who's your level 28? Okay, dope. Um, the timer is gonna break, we're not gonna make it in time. Um, it's because, like, you can only use them every so often. It's not like you can use them whenever you want, like in the other games. I think I said that before already, but it's just, eh, it's upsetting. There's another looplet here. I'm pretty sure there's different types of looplets you can get. Ice Fang upgraded. Yo, eat this, uh, this upgraded Ice Fang. Yo, nope, this there's right here. I think it's called Glittering Mountain because he emerges, actually. Power boost Y. Now, I don't know if- I don't think that wild Pokemon can use them. Or, I, sh I shouldn't say wild. I, sh I don't think the, uh, dungeon Pokemon can use them. Ooh, what kind of orb is this? A Mer up orb? Oh, I can add another- loop or, uh, another thing to loop that's been added. What is this? Toughness? That would kill. I'm gonna give this to Deerling. That's what we- that's what I used in the, uh, <laughs> original playthrough of the game that I did. Well, not obviously recorded, but like, when I first played through the game, that's what saved my life, is the toughness. Because, ooh, a super crit. Oh, the barrage is dope. That and barrage. So like, looplets make the game really easy, but I never really used them. Like, obviously, do this, I think we're gonna have to. Because I'm not trying to lose a whole bunch. Okay, we're at 50% belly too. Speaking of belly, I hate that word. God, I hate that word. Dope, damage nullified. Oh, he flinched. Metal Claw. What is this? Toughness. Give it to Esper. Just so they don't die. Um, God, I hate that word. Belly is such a stupid word. I hate, there's a couple words I really, like, really despise. Belly is one of them. Meal is another. Okay, that Mankey has Barrage, I think. I'm gonna kill it. I'm pretty sure this Mankey has Barrage. Super crit. I'm gonna give this to me. Um. I hate the word meal. I hate the word... Belly. What other words do I hate? Can we get a crit? That was a crit. 46. This is Barrage. Ooh. I'm gonna give it to... Deerling. Barrage is a dope one, though. Um, what other words? There's other words I definitely do not like. I don't remember what they are, though. I don't remember. Mediterranean is one of my favorite words. Um, mineral is another word that I love. Oh, shit. Um, I think it's all the words I love, to be honest. 
there's not one word that, out, that I'm out there I'm like, oh man. Wand expert? No. Can we use them? Drink. And then... We eat. Dope. Okay, Dino, come here. Dino, whatever. Eat this fucking ice bang, bruh. Oh, another one! Dude, you're trying to get... Cut here. Boom, look at that crit. That was crazy. 54 damage. I think that's the highest damage we've seen so far. There are the stairs, and let's make a beeline for it. I was also trying to find, if anyone is like watching and knows where to find a ROM of Red Rescue Team, I've been trying to find one for like a day and a half now. Cannot find one. And when I say I've been trying to find one, like I haven't been like looking too hard. It's been kind of like searching the web for some, but I can't find them anywhere. There is, I think there was something a while ago, because there used to be a website, um, Cool ROMs, I think is what it was called, that had all these ROMs, but, ooh, look at that looplet. And I'm pretty sure there's other looplets in here that give you more Amura options. I don't remember, though. Maybe not. I don't know. I feel like that's a little broken. But this game is really hard. Well, it's supposed to be really hard. I don't know. Um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, and but there was something a while ago that I, I don't want to say that Nintendo did. Um, can I get two super crits? No, I can't. I think that's up to you. Um, they like went through and like all these ROM sites got like removed the Nintendo ROMs from there. Well, at least Pokemon, I know, um, because like Cool ROMs doesn't have anything else anymore. That's like worthwhile. What's the better, Esper? This way. The flags are here. And we were first. Is this... Maybe this is the peak of Glittering Mountain? Look over there. Those are... The flags! And there are two of them. Which means we appear to be the first ones to arrive. And we've cleared the dungeon. Come on, let's hurry back. Yo, so they just use escape ropes, right? Congratulations, Impresso. Team Super Honorable Master Watchhog. Huh? Or is it excellent Team Vice Principal Watchhog? Oh, never mind. Congratulations all around. Good job dealing Esper and Will. Well, on the other hand... Did they never even leave? Oh, no, they left first. On top of that, you're always rushing off into dangerous places. Isn't that what it means to have an adventure? All it means is that we've never actually cleared the stupid dungeon. My, my, indeed. You'll never clear a dungeon with that kind of terrible teamwork. Are those two... Are they even listening to me? Oh. Everyone, please take care and don't implicate those two. I will be dealing out extra assignments to both of them later. For everyone else, class is dismissed. Off on your way. Nope. After school that day. Goodbye, Miss Odno. Yes, goodbye for today. Have a safe trip home. Miss Odno, I hope you give me some real TLC next time I faint in a dungeon. Now, now, I'll have none of that check from, uh, from you. Unless you'd like me to drop you off in a really frightening dungeon. But if it was just you and me going... Oh, he's... He is making moves! My boy Shellman is making moves on Odno. Odno's a little thick, so I mean... I don't know. Where's Alex? Rushed off alone again. I see. Well, then you'll just have to walk together with us. Is Dealing making moves? Why hasn't Alex been coming together with you anymore? You didn't come to school together this morning either. Until now, I thought you two had be been getting along so well. Alex and you had a talk? And you suggested Alex might be a bit annoying? So that's it. Alex is usually quick to cover from disappointments, but perhaps this time stung a little too much? But that doesn't mean you said what was wrong, Will. You had to be honest after all. It's true that Alex tends to drag everyone into more trouble often than not. Hmm? What is it? You want to know how we feel about Alex? It's not like I don't like Alex. He's always cheerful and fun to be around. So I don't dislike Alex really, but I've ended up in dangerous situations because of Alex's adventures. Well, you know Alex will walk around the right places that even adults avoid. Calls it an adventure and drags those in it, but it gets to be much. Gumi has gotten a little tired of all that. I don't hate Alex or anything, but there's a limit on how reckless one can be. Sometimes I just have to say no. 
Alex is definitely the Naruto of this game. And I am the Shigemaru. Harmony Scarves. What are Harmony Scarves? I feel like that's the recruitment stuff. Let's go ahead and continue. We're only 20 minutes in. We'll go ahead and we'll play this a little bit longer. Oh, Nestle's back. Oh, awake already, Will. Well, good morning to you. Nestle! Oh, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> He's back. Sorry for leaving you by your lonesome like that. I hate. That's another phrase I hate. By your lonesome. That's such a fucking stupid phrase. <clears throat> I bet you miss me, huh? It's always something that, like, southerners say. I don't really hear northerners say it. I live in Georgia, if you guys, you know, Atlanta, Georgia, not the country, Georgia, uh, if you guys don't know. And so, like, I hear it a lot. Um, but yeah. Because I feel like I don't really have an accent, uh, like a southern accent. And people I've talked to that live in, like, LA and stuff don't really, like, say I have an accent. And I've asked them, I'm like, hey, do we sound different to you? And he's, they're like, or the people are like, yeah, but you really kind of don't. And I'm like, oh, fucking awesome. And a lot of my friends don't either, like, I, I don't know, I don't really, my brother has this horrible, horrible accent, I don't know where he got it from. Actually, I do know where he got it from. He got it from baseball. So, I don't know. I feel awful bad if any other kids were picking on you or anything of that sort. Truly? That was my biggest concern, so I'm right glad to hear that. I reckon we might be keep plugging along like this and see how things turn out. And for you, that means another day of going off to school like a good little student. Dope. Is this our drinking water or our bath water? I want to know. Looks like I'll be walking to school. Oh, wait. <laughs> Looks like I'll be walking to school on my own again today. And, okay, another thing I like about this game is that, so I was, you know, comparing it to Red and Blue. I'm pretty sure there's no downtime in this game. Like, on for Red and Blue, you have to, like go through days, and I think Adventures of uh, Sky and Darkness did, did, did that too. That you had to, um... What's going on? But it will all be worthwhile in the end. To get some delicious honey out of the end. Yo, they just are too hard to make him German. Uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? Was I... Oh yeah, so like, this game, every time you get up, like, there's something to do. In Red, Blue, and Explorers of Time and Darkness and stuff like that, um, you have to, like, actually go on adventures, like, and do shit before storyline activates. Like, there's, like, a certain, like, I think the longest is, like, three or four days. So something like that. Which is cool and all. I like that. I didn't dislike the game. I just I like how this game is, like, keeps going. My headphone fell out. I wonder what that delicious honey is like. I wouldn't mind a taste. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Do we go... Hmm. I guess I shouldn't skip out on school today. Dude, you're not me if you don't skip out on school. Sometimes I wake up and it's like 6 o'clock and I'm like, oh man, fuck it, I'm not going to class today. Oh, Principal Simipore, good morning. And a good morning to you, dearling. Good morning, Principal Simipore. You've got gate duty today, huh? So let me ask you, sir, why are you always smirking? So Simipore's a guy. <laughs> I'm all for it, but Simipore looks like a girl. I'm not judging, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Androgynous Simipore, that's what we're going. Where'd you come from, anyway? <laughs> Does anyone know who we're from? I'm from the Philippines, my dude, actually. For those of you who didn't know, just kidding. I was born in Georgia, lived in Georgia. My family's from the Philippines, though. I am Filipino. That nobody knows where you're from, so tell us. Could you be, are you from Lively Town? That makes you like a city Pokemon. So sophisticated. Nuzleaf hardly seems like the city type. I think you're wrong in tack. Okay, I'm gonna tell them the truth. Can, can, can I get the option? Oh, shoot, I don't get an option, I just tell him. What? Will is from the human world? Like, a real live human? But you are undeniably a Pokemon right now, Will. What? You got turned into a Pokemon somehow and you don't remember your old life? What? Seems like it really is a shock. You're such a liar. Nani? Now, who would ever believe a made-up story like you being a human? Nobody's ever seen a real human. They only exist in kid stories. 
So does this? So I know this is a spin-off title, but does it exist in the main main series lines? Like, is this an alternate timeline from the main series, or is it just like separate altogether? Order? What's this ruckus about now? Will's telling lies. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, totally unbelievable whoopers. Whoppers? Sometimes the most unbelievable things are the things you should most believe in. That's what I found. Principal Simibor! Perhaps the real story is not true, but who are we to say? And what if it's not a lie? Sometimes unbelievable things do happen, and because they do, living in this world proves endlessly entertaining. Now, I've. Now, not that I have any idea what kind of tales Will may be telling, ha 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 ha. The point is that you children should just examine things from many angles, and hopefully have fun learning many new things as you do. Change your point of view even a little, and you might see an entirely new picture, but now, I believe it is time for class to begin. Mr. Farfetch, I leave the rest to you. Yes, sir! Let's get started then, class. Today we'll be getting the tale of the three little spoint and the mighty Anna. I get it. Now let's see, what's the plan of time in a far off kingdom? Oh! Ah, indeed, I apologize. Can you hear this with the. And then when third period rolled around. Children, I will be leading your field trip again today. Also, I'm pleased to announce some special guests. Our friendly local sheriffs are here to assist in today's lesson. Wow, real life sheriffs! I do like that they kept the Magnazone. The, the Magnemite, Magneton, Magnezone thing going as the police. I'm pretty sure they always are the police. Absolutely vital school, I have to make sure you learn well. Let's move into the forest and continue the demonstration. Now then, we'll ask these kind of officers to perform an alliance for us. Oh yeah! These are fucking sick! I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember. Our perfected triple shock attack. Fuck me up! That's like a Z move. More important, did you all watch carefully on how they use an alliance? Allies move together in an instant, surrounding the foe to attack all at once. What's more, deals damage to your enemies even if it's a bad ma matchup. This is the definition of an alliance. However, if you use it too much, it makes you very hungry, so be forewarned. Next will be your turn to try it out. Alright, come against me. Fucking dope. Versus Pancham Shimut Damper. Oh, do I get to do this? Give R a little push. Is that R? Am I doing it? No, you got it all wrong. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is the Alliance Registration mode. Once you're in this mode, choose your move. Okay, I'm gonna do Leer. And then... Struggle Bug. And Esper will hit him with... He doesn't have any physical moves. Alright, and then... Press R to the icon of the street. Okay, I'm just gonna touch it. You really got me, but I'm not done yet. One more time, let's see another alliance. Okay. Hold down L and press R. Okay, dope. Boom. That was cool. I love alliances. The, the, alliance, the alliance feature in this game is fucking dope. I forgot all about it. Damn, dude, we just o code Vice Principal Watchog. Very nice. Very, very nice. That's exciting. I love- Ah, alliances are so cool. Oh, the whole, that whole feature is dope as hell. Goodbye for today. Oh wait, no. be safe on your way home. Dude, Ondo's thick though, I don't even care. And with that, you guys, there there comes the save. We're gonna hit. Oh shit! Okay, I guess I'm in right now. We're gonna wrap today's episode of our Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon Let's Play. And I am recording this on breaking the fourth wall here on a Monday, so I think I've got my schedule down to where I could get the three episodes out that I'm supposed to. So I will catch you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed, make sure you smash the like button down below for me, and I will see you guys.